हामीलाई शान्ति चाहिन्छ पहिला हाम्रो यो दोन्न नभइदिएको भए हामी कति खुसी हुन्थ्यो होला है A decade of conflict in Nepal killed over 13,000 people and left the country yearning for a lasting peace. Fear and empty classes is what Subita remembers from her first year at school. School person and carry on to near by school gaga was there go around and yaw then and no they were lany or this to the boy alone. Today the war is over. However, Nepal is still in a transitional phase, and in these post conflict times tensions could flare up again unless the next generation grows up practicing peace in their everyday lives. This is why Nepal is introducing lessons on non-violence, tolerance and conflict resolution in its school curriculum. UNRCPD is working with the government on this peace-building initiative. The government has already embraced the concept of education for peace and our project provides them with the technical expertise they need to deliver it. By weaving in peace and disarmament education into existing curricula, thousands of children across Nepal will receive new tools for dealing with conflict in their everyday lives. It is here at the Curriculum Development Center that all teaching materials and textbooks are produced for over 30,000 schools nationwide. We need uh, some um, expert support on this area. UNRCPD's contribution will be uh, very effective for us uh, to fill these gaps that is uh, already in the curriculum. In filling these gaps means bringing tested methods for training teachers and nurturing young minds in the principles and practice of peace. In this class, 8th graders reflect on the meaning of inclusion. What these children learn here, they will never forget. They are helping to lay the foundations for a culture of peace. This initial phase costs just 22 cents per child. This is not only low cost, but it's sustainable as it works through existing structures. It's also a model that we can use in other post-conflict countries in Asia. A small investment is enough to ensure that a whole generation of children in Nepal will learn peace at school. I'm going to